in the top right. This is great for our reigning king, <laughs> our reigning Terran champion, Gondor, who's the tan color, and our challenger, I can't remember, is it, it's thanks, right? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Or 1.618033988778. Our Zerg, I believe, nope, he did choose Zerg. I thought for a second that he was random, but he is our one player to actively pick Zerg. And his Overlord is going in the right direction, but, by the way, he's at three o'clock, middle right, hatch first, Overlord. It's a... Uh, it's not going to be in the right place by the time the SCV comes out to do its own scout. Mm, so we're seeing uh, things go for a two hatch before pool build. Um, but the main thing I'm noticing here is that he's actually not opting for a choke hatch. Um, usually with Zerg players, you see them go for choke hatches, but... Um, to sort of narrow the surface area that they would need to defend, but interestingly enough, he's just going for standard two, uh, standard two hash port pool, with no really semblance of SimCity. It kind of is working though, because Gomdor did go CC first, and his barracks are still under production. So he, what did he? Do? Oh, he canceled so he could get that extra, that extra larva out. Okay. I, I don't know if that's actually a valuable thing to do. Gomdor is going to scout him first. So... Yeah, is... I mean, even if uh, Gomdor goes CC first, he'll still have units out before Thanks would. So um, the whole purpose of the choke catch is to be able to, you know, defend with minimal units and buildings. But Oh, for sure. Um, interestingly, I, get, I suppose he's just going to go for mass Zerglings and try and go for maybe a four hatch Zergling all in. Because um, it looks like he's about to build. Nope, he's just going to go for scouts. And maybe yes. he's trying to make it look like he's going to go for that hatch at the, the front to throw Gomdor off, but there's nothing to shoo the SCV out. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be speedlings, kind of like you said, and it's just going to be a lot of units, a lot of fast. The bunker is coming up at home for Gomdor. And is he even going to go the right way? Because he doesn't know where Gomdor is. So, yep, it's the fan scout. I like it. Yeah, and a very quick lair as well. So, considering he's on one extractor, he's not building a second one, I'm going to go on a limb and say, I have no idea what he's doing. It's Jadong's <laughs> Muta build. I've seen this before. I've done it. It works. <laughs> I don't think it'll work, but... I mean, let me tell you how bad that building is off stream. But Dude, anyways, he, first of all, he it has is... worked and you doubted me before okay. about the fire bats. You doubted oh, me about the first. bunker. Okay. <laughs> I never doubted you about the fire bats. <laughs> you said there's no reason to land the barracks against Protoss. And he did. And it worked. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Did I say that? I don't think I said that. You said he didn't need to build a barrack. Okay, I said I said to build one to float one over or float one over. It doesn't matter. It was just funny. The lings are coming in for pressure. I do think Lurkers is a much better play than Muta's. I just had to spam that out because, or maybe spaz that out is a better way to put it. Oh, he's gonna try to go Oh, for the I think he's gonna have to actually catch the uh, bunker here if he's not careful enough. Oh, okay, but fire the fire bats. bats come out Woo! just right on time. Um, I think one reason why he's opting for Lurker play as opposed to Muta's is because he's working off of a little bit of lag or rather more like not perfect uh, latency. So he may just assume that the mutas aren't great. Great catch Dude, here. And and if he's not careful, if Gomdor's not careful, he may actually lose his bunker. Granted, I'm sure he can pull his uh, 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 SCV, SCVs in time, but yeah, he's going to be able to delay the factories, force Gomdor to sort of respect his Zerglings for now. But um, yeah, great catch there. Yeah, this is really good. I can't believe that Terran army... I mean, I guess I'd be feeling confident too, but it just, it walked out and totally got surrounded, gobbled up completely. So I would say he's in a good spot, Zerg is. Just lost an Overlord, so maybe not as good, but still good, it's gonna lose another Overlord. So, oh, nope, he's not, okay, good. Woo, gotta be careful though. Looks like he probably just, just got scanned. Just scanned, yeah, and saw now he's, 
he's not getting a second gas, yeah, so I don't know exactly how effective this um, although granted, he has nine guys mining minerals, so I, I suppose he is purposely going for a very aggressive build. Um, no Queen's Nest, and right now, so far, no hint of any Hydras. Lurker upgrade should be done. Okay, there they are. Um, around this time, so I this wonder if scary. he's going to try and I wonder if he's going to try and bait him into attacking him with stop lurkers, and then uh, basically just go in for a counter. So, because these zerglings are sort of fanning around the back of the map. Oh yeah, the lurkers. I didn't even notice at the middle of the map. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so if he gets this around and then brings the lurkers up, they're way too far away for this. He's got one scan. All right, so he's just gonna run straight up, dude. That he's winning battles with lings that I didn't think were really that possible. Oh my gosh, that oh, stim, that's so annoying. body block. Burrow! Burrow, he's gonna go straight for the minerals. The bunker's empty! Burrow! What are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> Target the SCVs! Oh my gosh. I think the SCVs can see it. Oh no, the SCVs beat the lurker at the top. <laughs> the bunker was empty! Oh no, GG. Good game. That was really cool. That was a good idea.